Hey guys, welcome back to Kanak's Kitchen and today I'll be showing you this quick and easy 15 minutes tomato pasta which is a classic and most comforting recipe. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this here, I've kept enough water for boiling in a big vessel. I'm going to flavor the water with a teaspoon of salt and just half a teaspoon of oil. Let it come to a good boil. Once boiled, I'm going to add in the pasta. So today I'm using these two cups of macaroni pasta. You can choose to use any variety or any shape of pasta your kids like. Let it boil for about six to seven minutes or until al dante. You can cook the pasta as per the packet instructions also, depending on what kind of pasta you are using. So it's been almost seven minutes. Let me cut one pasta and show you. It still has some resistance, it's forming a small ring so it is slightly underdone at this stage of the flame and strain the pasta to a colander. Pour some more water over it to stop the cooking and that's it, keep it aside. And here's the pasta stock, you can reserve one cup of pasta stock to dilute the pasta later. Next up here I've taken about four to five tomatoes, give them some slits. This will help in even cooking of the tomatoes from inside. Next here I've kept a saucepan with enough water for boiling. To this add in all the tomatoes and let it boil for about four to five minutes. So it has boiled enough, you can see the skin is almost coming out at this stage. Close the flame. Remove the skin and transfer the tomatoes into a blender and then blend it to make a smooth puree. So this basic tomato puree is ready. Now let's start making the pasta. So for this in a big wok, I've taken two tablespoons of oil. You can also use olive oil instead. Next goes in a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Cook it for about 30 to 40 seconds and then goes in one onion finely chopped and cook that as well for about two to three minutes or until translucent. Just for color, I'm also adding half a capsicum finely chopped. It's completely optional or if you want, you can add a variety of vegetables here. Next goes in the tomato puree. Cook it for about two minutes. You can also add some water from the blender. I'm also adding some salt and cook, cook, cook on high flame for two minutes. And then I'm going to cover it and cook on low to medium flame for about four to five minutes. Let's remove the lid and check. You can see the tomatoes are nicely reduced. They have cooked enough. You can see some oil floating on top. At this stage, we'll add in a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of mixed herb seasoning, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes. I'm also adding a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder for that perfect red color. Next goes in two tablespoons of tomato sauce. This is the ketchup, which is store-bought. This is perfectly optional just to balance out all the flavors. Now mix everything and then I'm adding this reserve stock to dilute the base and again cook it for two more minutes. And that's it guys, the base is absolutely ready. If you want, you can add some cheese also, some grated cheese, some parmesano or uh, some mozzarella, whichever you wish to. And then goes in the boiled pasta and that's my special secret ingredient, a knob of butter. Now mix everything until all the flavors are nicely combined with each other until the pasta is fully done and coated with that thick tomato base sauce for about two minutes and guys i think it looks absolutely delicious with all the coating consistency pasta each and every pasta is perfectly done and coated with that flavorful saucy base so serve it hot hot with some more herbs on top if you wish to super delicious so guys i hope you enjoyed this recipe as much i did in making it and if yes please like the video and consider subscribing if you're new here i'll see you soon with another tempting recipe till then take care and bye bye